Okay, so I know it needs to go just like that. Then <laughs> you might have to see, I had to turn the thumb turn just a little bit to, to make sure it went on. Now I can check the handle, make sure it works, even before I put the screws in, you know, in case yours goes on one way and then you do it and then it doesn't work, okay? So now I take this sketching and I'm just going to see, I can spin that, see there? It goes any direction. And the screws, I just line up. And if you want, you can pull this out just a little bit. You know, you don't want to pull it all the way off the shaft. Then you can kind of see in there where it goes. You should be able to get that started just, just with your finger. You know, and if you can't, then chances are you don't have it lined up exactly right. Because these threads are very fine threads. Okay. And if you think, oh, I'll just, I'll just start driving it in there. You don't want to do that. Now see, I could pull the back side out all the way and then do the screw but if I pull it out all the way it might come out of the the goodie in the latch sometimes that happens and you think oh I'll just do that and tighten it up and then your lock doesn't work properly okay so you can do that and then get your Phillips screwdriver in there you see, if it's way out here, you'd have your you'd have your screwdriver out like that. You could still do it. I'm trying to have you look over my shoulder, but let's let's set this up in a different way here. I think that might be better. Okay. Now I can hold my foot on the door and my knee on the door. So it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, now before I get it tight, I just want to kind of look at that. Because see, I, I can swivel this a little bit, see? I don't want it up too high, I don't want it down too low. And especially if you've already taken an old one off and if your door has already been painted, you might have an escutcheon trim line that had been etched into your door. And you might think, well, it needs to go right about here. Because Joe said center this. But my sketching edge is just barely showing, so I need to lift it up just a little bit or down just a little bit. You know, something like that. Okay. So I'm going to just split the difference. This door has not been painted yet. And I don't have to worry about any marks. And now I'm going to tighten this up. I'm just going to make it snug first. Make sure it works properly, because sometimes if you don't have this set up just right and you crank these, these um, screws down, you might try to turn this and it might go in hard or it might go like that when you let go. Maybe the latch doesn't pop out. You think, okay, I've got to loosen this up, maybe readjust this and tighten it up. And also, if you've got a hollow core door, which this one is a hollow door core, by the way, um, hollow core door, <laughs> hollow door core, yeah, right. Um, you want to make sure, or especially if it's a metal door, let's say it's a metal door and it's hollow or something, and you crank down on this side screw here, you might depress the, the, um, the metal just a little bit or the wood, whatever, and that could drag the latch. You're thinking, well, I got it tight, then you may have to loosen it up and then snug it up again, okay? I don't overly tight, tighten these, but I want them snug, okay? Looks like it's all working. There you go. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more 
videos.